calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit shown. That means we have to find the total resistance across this circuit. Before proceeding further and telling you the steps to solve the question, uh, I would like to uh, discuss with you the two Kirchhoff's law that we would be using to solve this question. The rules are, first, the junction or current loop at any junction. First of all, what is a junction? You can see here that this is a junction, this one is a junction, and this one is a junction. Junction is a circuit point at which current divides. You can see here that the current is entering this junction and it is uh, getting divided into three smaller currents which I am labeling it as I1, I2 and I3. So uh, this rule states that at any junction the algebraic sum of currents entering the junction is equal to algebraic currents leaving it. So that means if this I current is entering this junction B, then uh, the same amount of current should leave this circuit. That means uh, I1 plus I2 uh, plus I3 should be equal to I because this law is in accordance with the law of conservation of electric charge.